Uh, some nice news to wake up to this morning, Russ. Uh, one of your players has been nominated for, for Player of the Month. You must be delighted for Reese. Yeah, deservedly so. I think he's been, uh, been excellent for us since we took over. He's got um, better and better. He's improved. He's all-round game. He's, uh, the help he gives the team, his work rate, and some of the goals he's got have been uh, tremendous. So, and, and individual as well. Um, would show the, really show the quality that he does, that he does have. Uh, when we get him in the right areas, and you know, yesterday he was saying to me he's disappointed he hasn't scored even more goals, he had a few, a few more chances as well. So, really pleased for him uh, if he wins it or not. So I think it's a recognition for what we're doing as a, as a group, and I'll be sure he'd be the first one to thank his teammates for even you know being uh, put up for that award. So, yep, yeah, really pleased for him. Fingers crossed he can win it. If not, no problem, but it's, it's a good sign of where, where we are and where we're going, that the position we're in, we're getting someone nominated for that. So, uh, yeah, really pleased. Um, how much has, do you think he's improved uh, since he came back from from injury? Um, I think he's he's improved his uh, his all round dis, uh, his all, all round contribution for the team in terms of the way he helps us defend, the way he um, he scores. Obviously, he scores most weeks, but I think he he appreciates the structure he's been given. I think he appreciates the demands on him, and he's really enjoying that. And he's become a really big part of what we're doing, and not just on the pitch on a Saturday. Um, but in terms of every day, the way he works every day, the way he wants to, the, to train, the way he wants to improve. So he's been a real part of what we're doing and he's been a massive, um, a massive player for us. Um, he scored six in six, obviously. What, what, which one was your favourite? Um, good question. I can't even remember all of them now. There was some <laughs> real quality in there. I think, uh, I think if I look at you know, the free kicks outstanding in terms of individual, individual quality, um, I think was the one against uh, Rotherham. Does that count? Yeah, one against Rotherham is is a brilliant, brilliant strike. So uh, that's, that's probably my favourite. Yeah, yeah, that's my. <laughs> uh, that's my. Uh, that would be my favourite, just for the individual quality and the, the patience he has when he gets there, and the calmness and composure, which is what we're asking, asking for our players to do. Because we've had some real big chances in the last few weeks and haven't converted them enough. But you know, when it falls to him more often, not he ends up putting it in the back of the net. Um, we saw Alex Gilby as well pick up the award uh, for in December. Does it show how much your side is improving that you've got that you've had two nominations? I hope so. I hope that it shows that we how much we've improved, how far we've come, and also how much we, we're really working on players as individuals and um, and asking for them and, and the, the way they've responded to us in terms of the structure we're trying to implement. Um, so I think it's a really good sign. I don't think that would have happened um, before that. I think that both of them players would would, would hold their hands up and say that they're really enjoying it and they've. They're improving, and hopefully that'll be the case with a lot of our players. So um, we're trying to maximise what we've got, and I think we are. And um, hopefully, we'll continue to do that to the end of the season. And if any of them get nominated for awards between now and the end of the season, we're, we're doing okay. Um, a new contract for Sam Nombe. Good to time down for the next few years. Yeah, definitely. I think he's um, he's got real promise. He's shown that to everyone this year. I think he surprised a lot of people with what he came into the team early on and done. I think the injury set him back a little bit. He's started to get there again now in terms of full fitness and, and, and confidence in himself again. Um, so we're, we're playing a completely different way. So he's having to learn lot, lots of new stuff, um, as did Reese and as, you know, as people that have come in, Alex Gill with different roles. So they're all, they're all learning, they're all trying to fit in. To, but Sam's his attitude's brilliant every day in training. He works extremely hard. He, he wants to learn, he wants to improve. And if we can brush up on all of his attributes, um, then we've got a real player on our hands. So there's real potential there. It's up to us to now maximise that. And he's done really well in games. He's a young guy. We're not going to get consistency every week at this minute in time, but we're trying to give him everything we can to make sure he becomes more consistent and he uses his attributes and what he has um, to, his real, to his strengths and, and to help us as a team. So, um, yeah, really pleased. Really pleased he's going to be with us. And um, it, he deserves it. You know, And I think the brilliant thing is about this football club and with the chairman and, and Andy Cullen, people like that, they... they they recognise when people have done well. Same with Dave Kasuma this year. Both young players who have come through the academy. So they recognise when people have done well and, they, and, they, and they've earned new contracts because you have to earn. You know, it's, it's football, it's tough and this club is it's a great club. So you have to earn what you get here and um, they've both done that. So I'm really pleased for them and hopefully that will uh, that will continue, like I said, between now and, and the end of the season or the whole time I'm here. Hopefully, you know, long term, we'll, we'll be able to produce them academy players and, and reward them as and when they do well enough to make sure they're a member of the first team squad. Have they surprised you, David Kasuma and, and Sam Nobby, because they were fairly, you know, fringy first team players last season, but they've really established themselves this time around? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, I think Sam was was close to not even being here at the start of the season and going out on loan. That's the that's the honest truth. So. I think he's really surprised people. Um, and same with David, they've both got a chance in the team, whether, whether it's by default, whether it's for injury, whether it's just they've earned it through training. However they get their chance, team, you have to take it, and they've both really taken it. And David's 
come a long, long way and, and he's improved a hell of a lot since last season, which is why it's really important we can't just burn him out this year. You know, I think David's played more than anyone would have expected, including himself, and he's done brilliantly. He's done really, really well and, he, and he's a big part of what we're doing moving forward. So, And it's the same with Sam. So um, I think they've been a real real positive surprise for this season and, and one that will really help us long term. The experience they've been in playing part in, you know, let's get it right, in a relegation fight for most of the season, playing part in that adapting to two different styles of football throughout the season, different managers, so it's not, it's not a normal season for, for a footballer, or maybe it is these days, I don't know, maybe that's the, but um, it's not a normal thing, so I hope long term for us, it'll be hugely beneficial to them as players, no doubt, but hopefully to us as a team and a, and a squad as well, we, I think they'll be better, much better off for this season. Is it important as well to show a, a pathway for the academy lads to see that there is a way into the first team and you know, you're not afraid to pick the youngsters? Yeah, I think so. I think it has to be. And um, If a player's good enough, they're old enough. It's as simple as that. So I think that's been proved here over the years with the, the amount of people who have come through the academy. And that has to continue. It has to continue. So um, I think what we've done since we've taken over is really try to reconnect with the academy and try and bring them closer to and more aligned with what we're doing and work closely with them. I'm really keen on that and bringing the club together about, and about us all being connected on the same page. I'm not asking them to play in exactly the same way and all that sort of stuff, but to have players ready for when they come into the first team squad or the reserve squad to play, play the way that we want the games to be played um, in the style that we want to be played. And, and we're seeing that. You know, Even last night against Slough, the result wasn't great, um, but the performance for 60, 70 minutes, they scored two brilliant goals like you can't do much about. But I don't think they had another shot really apart from that. So... Even if you're looking at that, the young guys coming through, you had Jack Davis, Tom Rowley coming off the bench, Malachi, is, and, and had the nerve to go and take a penalty as well. So, yeah, I think we went to Villa with Academy boys as well last week in, in a friendly game, and, and they, their staff are hugely complimentary about what we're doing, the style we're implementing, and, and couldn't believe a lot of them are not closer to the first team than they are. So it's brilliant for us to, to have that, and that needs to continue. It needs to be clubs at this level. They have to promote young players. They have to. It's as simple as that, and hopefully we can continue doing that. Um, we spoke last week about the threat of coronavirus and, and you guys following the EFL guidelines. We've obviously seen a Premier League game go this morning. Um, uh, are there any more measures that you, need, you guys need to put in place or is it just a case of carrying on day by day and seeing what, what the next objective is? Yeah, I think is? we just listen and wait to see what the guidelines are. Um, we've got obviously, Simon's really on the ball with all that at the moment, so he's keeping up to date with that stuff. Um, so, yeah, for us, I think it's just we need to just keep working, keep keep implementing what we're trying to do, keep improving and then that sort of stuff will will do what we're told as and when really. So I'm not I'm not um it's a, it's an issue we have to be aware of and, and concerned about but at the minute it's not affecting what we do very much. Um uh, I mean what are your thoughts on behind closed doors games because that's potentially something that the that the EFL will go down. But is is football the same without fans? No, I don't think so. I don't think anyone would. Uh, I don't think players want to play behind closed doors. Obviously, fans don't want us to. And then, it, obviously, the, the the business opportunities and the business problems it causes to football clubs financially if that happens. So, um, no, I don't think it's saying it. I'd, I'd rather they. Uh, I'd rather they delayed it than made us play behind closed doors. If I'm being honest. So, um, hopefully, it won't come to any of that. Um, hopefully, we'll be okay. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, big test this weekend, isn't it? Uh, Oxford away. Yeah, it's massive. I think it's a. Uh, it's a really good team that, that will be that will remember the game they come here and I think they, they fully expected to win when they came here. I think it'll be a different game there. I think they'll be they're trying to fight for promotion, we're trying to fight to stay in the league. So just, there's a lot at stake. Um a manager who knows the club really well, I've got a lot of respect for. But I know that he'll be he would have watched us and he'll be aware of our threat. There's no doubt about that. Um as we'll be aware of theirs. But we're gonna go there and try and win a game. We have to, it's as simple as that, the position we're in, uh what we're trying to do. We do that every single game. So um We've worked really hard this week so far. That will continue on what we do, um, and we have to keep. Um, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to stray from what we're doing. It's good. We're going to improve, and we're going to get better at what we do. It's as simple as that. We'll have to tweak things game to game to adapt to certain things away from home. The teams, how teams play, the way we're going to press and things like that. But ultimately, we don't change what we do. We're going to get better at it, and we're going to work on it in the process and, and keep refining that. And um, that's what we're here for. You know, I, I said all along to you guys that. I won't be happy or feel safe until it's mathematically impossible and that remains the same and, and the players the players know that as well so we are here to stay in the league and we are here beyond that to implement something long term that's going to help sustain us that's why I signed the contract that I did at the football club because I want to be here and I want to see something through and get this club to where we all feel it should be 
and that's the league above, there's no doubt about that. But to do that, we have to make sure we stay in this league first. So we have a real plan, we have a real process to do it, consistent with that. It doesn't matter about anyone else's results. When we took over, it wasn't in our hands, it now is. So, um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, we go there Saturday with a short-term plan, short-term goal, fully in place, but also making sure we're, we're looking, looking beyond that and what we're doing, and that's, that's getting better at what we're doing, making sure we now go away from home. And we've had some brilliant performances and dominated and we now make sure that we have to convert them into um, in, into victories. It's as simple as that, and no better way to start on on Saturday. Um, what are your thoughts on on that previous game against Oxford? It was obviously your, your first win in charge, and it it meant a lot to the club, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I thought we were we were excellent. I think we're a lot further down the line in terms of where we are at now. Um, but I thought on that day we were great, really, really good, and um, they're a good side. They're a really good side, and we limited some really to really few chances on the day. Um, it's going to be a tougher game at their place, there's no doubt about it. They're, they're very uh, very good at home um, and play with a manager who is really strong and got a lot of conviction in what they do. So, um, And I saw that, we've watched a few of their games and especially even them against Man City and Newcastle at home, Premier League opposition, they played exactly the same way. So I have a lot of respect for that. Um, so it's up to us to make sure we go there and try and po impose ourselves and play the game that we want to play. It's as simple as that. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a good atmosphere. I think we're taking quite a lot of fans down. So um, the boys are really looking forward to it. Training's been great. We'll keep working hard. And, uh, you know, so far, they, every time there's been a new challenge, they've responded to it. And hopefully this will be the same.